Hi everyone, this is Lori from Get Crafty with Lori. Can you believe we're already at the end of August? Um, the summer is coming to a close here quickly. And with that, our July and August catalog will be expiring in last week. So if there were some things you had wanted to get from this catalog, you might want to head on over to my website, which I will have linked um, in the description of this video and check it out. But there's a lot of cute things here in this catalog that uh, will be retiring. So anyways, with that said, I'm going to make a layout using the Cape Cod collection. I have these photos of my daughter and her family in Pismo Beach, and I thought that they would go beautifully on this paper. I also have this sketch here that I downloaded from Pinterest, and I like it because it has four by six photos, and I believe these photos will go beautiful on this paper with this layout. I am starting with two pieces of white daisy cardstock on my brand new Versamats. I have tacked them down with some adhesive in the corners, but don't worry, that will come up with the rub and remove eraser. I decided to get new Versamats because mine were kind of looking ugly. They're probably anywhere from 10 to 15 years old. And I thought with doing videos, it would be nice to have brand new ones. If you don't have Versamats, I highly recommend getting them. They're great because they help to line up your papers and just have a nice, clean surface to work on. Well, anyway, so now I have these um, four strips of paper here. This Lagoon Color one, I cut it at three inches by 12 on the right, and then on the left, I have it at three by 11, and I did the same measurements with this wood grain paper here. I wanna give it a little definition, so I'm going to take some toffee ink and it put it around the edges of my paper, and I also have them situated at one and a half inches from the bottom. I'm taking a blending tool and I'm just going to go around the edges with the toffee ink. Most of this is going to be covered up with my pictures, but I'm just going to go around the whole thing like that. Then I'm going to do the same thing with this piece here. And then I'll do the same on the other side. Now those are down, I am ready for my photos. So these are my daughter's family. These are my two granddaughters here, and they go to Pismo Beach every summer and spend their vacation there. And they just have such a great time, and it is just so beautiful there. And they have the most beautiful sunsets. And one of my favorite things are these pelicans. When the sun starts to set, you'll just see a trail of pelicans going across the sky. And it's just so incredibly gorgeous. So anyways, I am going to put these pictures down. I think I'm going to put the sunset one over here. And I've also matted them in toffee cardstock. I really like toffee cardstock with my beach pictures. It just, it looks so good because it uh, matches the background, like it's the color of the sand and the rock, and it just looks so beautiful against the ocean colors. So I'm gonna put this one of my little granddaughter right here, and her sister right here. I'll put those there and then I'll put my daughter and her husband up here and then this one of them playing in the water up here so I'm thinking I like that the way that looks and uh, 
I think I'm going to want to add some color on the page here. I'm just not sure what color yet. I know I like the sunset color, and I'm thinking that might look pretty. But anyways, let's work on the fun part right now. After I get these pictures tacked down, we will put down the embellishments. This set is the Cape Cod scrapbooking, and uh, there's the little seahorse, and it has these little, um, I don't know, what is seaweed here? Some kind of seaweed, and it has the cute little crab and some sayings on it. So I stamped some images with that. I'm also um, going to use the die cuts, too. I like this, and I'm thinking that that would look really pretty under there like that. And one thing that Pismo Beach has is a lot of sand dollars. What's really fun is if you go out really early in the morning before the tide comes in, they will just be all over the sand and they're so much fun to collect. One year when um, my granddaughter Lexi was probably about three or four. Uh, we went to Pismo Beach with some friends. And what they liked to do for their daughter was to make a little stone using the little sand dollars. So she brought the molds and Lexi was able to put some little sand dollars and shells in it and decorate it really pretty. And we have that in our backyard. But that is so much fun collecting these little sand dollars when you're there. So got a little embellishment cluster here. Uh, let's see. A little sea star starfish. That, that looks pretty like that and I might want to put some color behind here I'm, I'm just not sure if I'm going to do this color or if I should do it uh, in the lagoon green or a blue I'm gonna have to think that one over and let's see also in my drawing they have these little banner pieces up here at the top and I put a few of them together. I cut some of each of these papers. And then this one here, let me show you how I made that. Because I wanted to have this nectarine color, because I have it over there, I took this Cape Cod card making workshop stamp. And there's this one right here, the stamp. And I just stamped it on a piece of the white daisy cardstock and cut out that little pennant piece here or banner I'm not sure what you call it but I'm going to put that like right about there and as I mentioned I really liked these pelicans so much so I want to put some birds in the sky these aren't um, pelicans or seagulls but it still gives me that um, really nice fond memory of them flying off into the sky. They would they go like that. And it's just so much fun because they all fly in a row together and they're, they're just so beautiful. This spot here is made for journaling, but I'm gonna use this as an embellishment cluster here. And because this is their annual trip, I'm just going to put Pismo Beach down here with the year and have a nice visual triangle here. I really like this little um, sticker here that has these little fences on it. I want to use it as part of my embellishment cluster instead of a border. So I am thinking about putting it right down here like this. And then I have this little sign here where it says the beach is calling. This was one of my favorite embellishments in this pack. So I'm thinking of putting it right here because I'm going to have my visual triangle here and I want all the colors to match. I'm pulling in this lagoon piece here and I have another sand dollar. I cut this out of toffee cardstock and that came from this Cape Cod card making workshop here. 
So I'm going to layer that right here on top of the seaweed. And I also have a little shell that I cut out of white daisy cardstock. And I sponged some nectarine ink over the top of that. And then I'm going to put a little starfish here. So I have one up here too, along with that sand dollar. And so up here, I kind of want to carry the same thing. So I have a sticker that has a starfish on it, and it's small, and that'll work nicely up here on top of those little pennants. I'm going to have to trim those and put them up a little bit higher. And then I also have another um, starfish there. And so I, to finish this layout, uh, I'm going to probably put some little um, dots on here. And I think I want to put a little color up here in the sky where these birds are flying. I'm just not sure what color to do it in. Um, if I want to do it in blue or if I want it to match the sunset going off, I have to give that a little thought and practice a few things. So I got brave and I sponged lightly, very lightly, the nectarine ink here behind the birds. That way they do pop off the page. And now I'm taking my little embellishments here and I want to give them a little definition too. So I am just going to sponge the edges here with the toffee ink. And I'm going to put that down. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the sign here. It needs some definition to kind of make it a little rustic looking like it would be. There we go. I, I, I like the way that's adding some definition to it. I think that looks nice like that. Especially this fence post here. We want to darken that up. And then I will put that down right there. A little bit of adhesive. Let's see. I wish I'd do that. Should I make it crooked? Or stand it up a little bit. Let's do it like that. And this could also use a little bit of sponging too. I think that looks nice. So that way it doesn't look so flat. So we'll put that there. And I'll do the same with these two here also. Thinking about putting a little bit of the nectarine down here on the bottom too. Let's see how that looks. Put a little bit lightly down here. I think I'll do it down here and then put a little up here in this corner too. That way it'll all be the same. So if I have that down here in the corner, I can move these down a little bit lower. I think that might look good. Let's try that like that. Let's tuck that down there and put that right there i think that um a little bit of foam tape underneath this one here i think would look really nice to pop that up i'm going to go ahead and sponge around these pieces too make it stand out Okay, that looks good. Pull on this one. And then I'm going to put a little bit of that nectarine underneath here. Let's try it. Here in the corner, just going lightly so that I don't have any harsh spots on this. You can 
have those if you aren't careful when you lay your brush down. I added some stickles to the little sand dollar and the star, and I added um, these little hearts, the acrylic hearts. I chose to use those on here because we love Pismo Beach, and there are stickles on all of these. And now I pulled out these dots that I have here that are pretty old. They're from an old collection, and I think these would look pretty on here. I like this color here. This looks nice. I like to mix colors when I do my little dots. And it just looks really pretty when you do that. Okay, I'll put a little gold star down here. And let's see. I can put a little orange heart if I want to, or a little orange dot. I think I like the little heart. I think that's pretty. And then I'll do the same over on this side and up here too. Let's see. I have another sheet of these here. Let's do the big gold dot. I like to pick these up with my little pokey tool. It helps to lift them. Let's put one right there. And let's see, do I have another star? What do I have that I could use? I guess it doesn't really matter. I just need to keep it in the same color. We can do yellow. Let's put that right there. And then something in orange. I have a little orange dot here. Put that there. I want to move this over a little bit. It's too close to that one. That looks nice. And then I'll do the same up here. Let's see. What should I do uh, in yellow? I've got a yellow star and a yellow heart. What should I use up here? I think. What other colors? I have here. Oh, I know what I'll do. I'll use this one here. That's pretty. Let's do that. And then do a orange star. And then I need a yellow dot. I think that will do it. That looks so pretty. Well, I am really happy with how this layout turned out. I added a couple of little stickers here too. Just, I love adding all the stickers and embellishments, all the things to my page. And I'm really very happy with the way it turned out. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are not already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. I will link the items that I used in the description below. And remember this catalog ends at the end of this week. So if you see something you really wanted, I would suggest go ahead and get it because it may not be available after this catalog ends. Thank you for watching and have a great day.